Our basic plan with respect to customer enthusiasm comes down to three key elements. The first element is to be easier than our competitors in every aspect. Whether it's somebody trying to schedule a service appointment, somebody that wants to get a collision repair, somebody that just wants to call and get some information or email or text, uh, we want to be easier to do business with. The second element is we want to be better than our competitors. The baseline or the measurement for being better is to be more accurate or another way to look at it from the negative perspective is to have uh, uh, fewer defects. So if you could imagine, let's say that you wanted to get a bottle of water uh, and uh, you ordered a bottle of water and you got a bottle of soda instead of a bottle of water. That's a defect. Uh, you didn't get what you ordered. Um, and so the second element to our customer enthusiasm is to be better than our competitors, more accurate, fewer defects. The third element of our customer enthusiasm is to be more personalized than our competitors. We call it collecting dots to connect the dots. We have a lot of repeat customers, but even on a brand new customer, there's ways to learn more about what a customer uh, is important to a customer and to be conscious and to note those things down so that we can constantly make a more personalized communications with the customer and when it comes to helping them find a car, get a car that serves their needs, not our needs. So now where the magic really happens is being consistent with these three elements. So a breakdown in any one of these elements at any time. Let me give you uh, an example for like a restaurant. You go to a restaurant every Sunday morning for breakfast and for many, many visits. Um, it's, it's easy uh, to get seated. It's easy to get your order. Uh, they're very precise with the order. Uh, the eggs come the way you want it. Uh, you get what you order. Um, and they recognize you and appreciate you for your continued service. Maybe even know your names. Sometimes they even know what your favorite orders are or how you like them prepared. But then all of a sudden you go in one weekend and you wait longer than you expect to. The person that's responsible for sit sitting you, maybe that person is, uh, looks like they're distracted by something on their phone, uh, texting over on the side uh, while you're waiting to get seated. It takes longer to get your order in. The order comes out and the food's not prepared uh, the way you ordered it, or maybe you didn't get what you wanted. Nobody seems to know your name. Nobody seems to know that you've ever been there before and maybe they're just a little bit uh, on the rude side and a little bit impatient with you. So if you've been going there for uh, many, many years, many, many weekends on a consistent basis and you've received good service, well, that's just kind of a one-off. But it, if it happens a second time in a row, your relationship with that restaurant is really threatened. Uh, so it doesn't take very man, many deviations uh, from these three elements. Uh, to really erode the relationship. And it's the same thing in our business. Uh, while we have many customers that have been doing business with us for many years, we need to be on our game each and every opportunity and each and every connection with that we have with that customer. So it's the consistency of these three elements, being easy to do business with, being accurate and avoiding defects, and personalizing our level of service whether it's some, helping somebody buy a car or helping them service or repair their car. It's doing these three elements consistently each and every time that builds customer enthusiasm and builds equity in our relationship. So those are the three key elements of service here at Alderman Chevrolet Buick GMC.